In order to feed our growing population, global food production must increase by an estimated 70% and almost double in developing countries throughout the world. The need for new agricultural technologies and innovative solutions has never been greater. Technology is the new frontier in the agriculture production. Hybrids, fertilization, pesticides, modern tractors created what I call the golden age of agriculture in the late 50s through the early 70s. We now are on another cusp of change in the world. Using computer technology, we can now be presented with summarized data from our sensors out there, from our drones, from our soil moisture sensors. It allows me to work smarter, not harder. Agricultural production is being driven by these technologies. Instead of farming doing one input for 160 acres, now we're doing inputs on a quarter of an acre. Every, uh, uh, maybe every uh, 50 square feet, we're able to adjust the application technology to fit the ground needs and the crop needs. So that uh, computer technology empowered in our equipment enables us to uh, produce more and be more efficient with the crop. Advancements in technology is basically helping the farmers take the concept of farming the same piece of land but getting more yield out of it than years past. So these advancements like variable rate irrigation, variable rate planting, variable rate fertilizing is taking a, a soil specific or field specific approach to applying these technologies to get more yield. And with these technologies is, is a younger generation coming in. And as younger generations, we like to be out in the field with our, our cell phones, with our, our tablets and our ultrabooks, and we like to see the information, log information, kind of do a technology-centric approach to farming, all in the spirit of using the same piece of land to get more yield. So we can be better farmers, and we think technology will help us get there. Precision Waterworks Inc., located in Plainfield, Wisconsin, is dedicated to educating growers, agronomists, and all vendors in the agriculture community on the many facets of technology available to the agricultural industry. We're basically an irrigation consultant company. Um, we do variable rate irrigation and we do precision field mapping for growers. We don't sell the hardware, we're basically the architects of the VRI. Our mission is basically to help growers utilize their water and, and spatially adjust it throughout the field so that we're using the right amount of water in the right places. Some of the newer, what we call precision agriculture technologies that are becoming available, one of them is called variable rate irrigation. And what that allows uh, an irrigation operator to do is to apply different rates or volumes of irrigation water at different spatial locations in a field. And the reason that you'd want to do that is if you've got a very sandy soil, perhaps on one part of your field, that has very limited water holding capacity, and a heavier soil on another part of the field that has better water holding capacity or greater water holding capacity, this allows uh, the producer to apply water in, in accordance with that soil characteristic so you're not overwatering one soil and underwatering the other. When you combine uh, soil moisture monitoring, spatial soil moisture monitoring with variable rate irrigation, it gives the grower a powerful tool to uh, conserve water and, and manage that water in a precision manner. Precision Waterworks is committed to excellence by providing technology that will promote growth and high efficiency within agricultural production. One of the new areas of research and uh, investigation in irrigation water management is variations in water application timing or water application. Uh, an example of that being that some crops such as corn and soybeans don't require a significant amount of irrigation water early in their growing stages, in their vegetative growing stages. It's their reproductive growing stages where they're, they are more critical for them to have uh, enough water. So by holding back or deferring irrigation early on in the crop's growth stage, we can actually uh, mine the water that's in the ground currently in the ground, it also sends the uh, plants, the crop's roots, deeper into the soil profile and also allowing it access to more water within the soil profile. We have found through our research and others as well that by uh, deferring irrigation on uh, at least soybeans is what we did it on here in Wisconsin, we could save two to four inches of water in producing that irrigation or that uh, soybean crop and have absolutely no uh, yield uh, 
penalty for doing that. So that not only uh, conserves water, but also um, allows the producer to maintain a, a good yield for their crop. The work that Precision Water Works is doing ties into a whole host of different technologies that we're interested in as crop consultants. Uh, precision planting would be one. Uh, also, uh, we're interested in remote sensing. We think that that information can tie in very nicely with uh, the maps that uh, Lamar generates and use this kind of information, not just from a management standpoint, but from a knowledge base area to know what is going on in these fields. Uh, we're interested in site-specific nematode management and these kinds of uh, technologies where you can map out variability in the field may allow us down the road to uh, utilize this kind of information for that purpose. The recent advent of the on-the-go mapping systems using electromagnetic sensors and accurate GPS logging provide a new method to map and identify contrasting and variable soil areas. With field variability we're looking at the what's the wettest of your wettest and the driest of your driest spots in the field and then what acre representation there is of each of those layers. The two technologies that we that we utilize, the EM and the EC, um, basically we're looking at sending out an electrical frequency or an electromagnetic frequency down one foot and three foot down to gather the soil moisture holding content within those, those layers. Um, we then geo-reference those throughout the field so that we can tell where we need to spatially adjust our water as it goes on in opposed to just flat rating, putting an inch of water as it goes all the way around the field. We may have some areas of the field that need to put a little more and some areas that need to put a little less. EM mapping has allowed us to have more precise uh, management of smaller zones uh, for each individual crop based on the soil types in that area. After the EM mapping is complete, Precision Waterworks takes all of the raw data that correlates the EM readings of the different soils and uses technology to find the variability within the soil. We use several different pieces of software. We've got a, some tools in our toolbox, so to speak, and we can bring in several different layers um, of that farmer's field. We can look at the soil derivatives that we pull out through our mapping, um, the elevation through the RTK GPS that we gather, and we're looking at elevation and slope and aspect. And we can also load in um, variable rate seeding applications that the farmer has. We can load in variable rate fertilizer applications that they can have and start looking at those in the correlations with their yield data to kind of bring out what's really driving that field, whether it's a positive or a negative effect on the yield with the different applications that we put in. We can now be very site specific with our water um, just like we can with the precision application of seeding and fertilizer and, and, and those types of things. The number one thing that we're seeing right now is growers are very interested in variable rate liming. And you can't variable rate lime unless you know the variability in those fields. We're also interested in variable rate nitrogen. And uh, these things would tie in very nicely with the work that Precision Water Works is doing. Their variable rate uh, watering can tie in with variable rate nitrogen applications through the irrigation system. Uh, we think that if we have a map that can show us the risk based on soil type, we can use uh, information on a limited scale uh, testing for nematodes without having to grid sample, and we can form a map that can tell us how to variable rate control nematodes and other diseases in fields. Precision Water Works starts by deriving EM and landscape change layers to identify water holding capacity variability across the field. These fixed yield influencing data layers are professionally processed and then delivered through software in preparation for field variability calculations, prescription generation, and analysis reports. At the end of the year, we try and do a, a detailed analysis report with our growers where we will overlay the, the yield data throughout the course of the year to make sure that we've, the, the changes we've made on our variability um, prescriptions match the need of that field. Um, we'll also change that during the course of the year. One of the things Precision Water likes to do is we also will monitor the changes that we're making throughout the field with soil moisture probes throughout the year so that we know that when we're putting, let's say, a little more water down in a drier spot or a higher elevation spot that we're not putting too much water down. From the same standpoint, we also like to monitor and analyze um, when we're putting less water, say, on a heavier spot that we're not drying that up too much to a point where we're stressing the plant. The soil and moisture probes just provide us another layer of data and a feedback loop to how we're managing. It's sort of a, um, a daily report card, if you will, 
and coupled with the weather forecast, again, where the crop staging, different crop stages require different water requirements, we're able, able to marry the two together and um, have less crop stress and, uh, and hopefully more crop to produce with fewer inputs. Precision Waterworks is committed to providing technology that will promote growth and high efficiency within agricultural production. Precision Waterworks strives to make the farmer's needs our main priority because their success is our success. Some of our growers, like Wallendahl Farms, have embraced our technology and they've been pretty much a guiding light as to the direction and the path that we've taken in this industry. Support and feedback from our growers, that's really what brings success to Precision Water. For more information, visit www.pwwinc.net.